and that's a wrap on day three of the lowering installation. So um, what I'll do is I'll have a little chat around what's happened today. Um, I'll spin the camera around and we'll walk through exactly what we've done. As you may see, there are two big pipes that now stick out of the top of the machine. Pipe one, pipe two, left and right. So the left hand side is our coal sat flue. That goes into the roaster at the rear and takes cold air from uh, the cooling tray. So what happens here is that the coffee comes out of the drum, falls into the cooling tray, cool air is dragged through the hot beans to, to cool the beans down to ambient, and that air has to travel somewhere, which now goes out of the roof through the cold stack. On the other side, we have the hot stack. So this is a 150 mil internal diameter, double skinned insulated flue that will withstand temperatures of up to a thousand degrees because inside of this contraption is the cyclone and the burner. Um, so what happens here is that hot air is recirculated through the drum um, and some of it is allowed up that pipe and out through the ceiling. Now, the beauty with this system is that it will recombust or combust the uh, smoke particulates, which means that what comes out the end of the hot stack in a lowering, same with an IMF roaster, but uh, what comes out of the hot stack here is, is basically fresh air. Uh, there will be no aromas, no smells, no smoke. Uh, there will, however, be a small bit of aroma that comes out of the cold stack at the end of each roast cycle, but uh, only at the end of the roast cycle. Now, in comparison, our Probat similarly has a cold stack on the left, which comes through the uh, cooling tray here, and a hot stack on the right. But this is a single pass system, so the burner is located inside of the belly of the, the machine inside here. Um, and this radial fan on the top drags hot air into the system back through the return and straight out the pipe out through the ceiling. Now, what that means is you get a whole bunch of smoke, especially as you enter and approach uh, Maillard reactions about 160 degrees Celsius. Um, what happens outside is it smells like uh, baking bread, because it's a similar sort of chemistry, um, but then as you approach, approach first crack and beyond, you start getting smoke that comes out of there. So other people on our unit factory estate will smell coffee, see smoke, etc. So the idea with this now is that there's going to be minimal or no impact on our neighbors. Um, there's going to be clean air that comes out the side. And for all intents and purposes, I could decide to put this in the front room of my home if I wished. I'm not, obviously, because I paid the whole heap of money to have it to, situated at the roastery, which is a sensible place to put a coffee roaster. However, today's efforts have been surrounding that, have been waiting for a culmination of the Sizzalist saga. Um, Sizzalist? Sizzalift saga. Um, anyway, HSS have provided us a Sizzalift, um, which has meant Malcolm, our aging Italian installer, um, can actually access and do the foods properly. Um, and I totally understand now why he wanted one of those. Anyway, so internals have been that, externals have been uh, puncturing two holes, putting some flashing from the ridge line back down to the flue, wrapping them externally and internally, plus also sealant uh, to make sure that it's watertight. Uh, we are closed Thursday now, tomorrow, Friday, a few more bits and bobs, and then first power up. Super exciting. Uh, I've been to Banbury as well. That was a long drive. Uh, roaster is in a fairly tidy state, which is good. Production has finished. Good times.